How's it going everybody? Welcome to the Scarecorp Media channel. Today I will be showing you how to do some basic VLAN um, configurations on your EX2200 uh, Juniper switch. Uh, so let's just jump right in it. Okay, so I have this picture here diagram. Um, so let's say you're in an office environment and you have four computers here. Um, uh, connected to your uh, to your Juniper switch, and you also have a router to get those computers out. So let's say that um, VLAN 100 um, wants to be separated from VLAN 200. So let's just say it's your data, you know, your data network, and maybe your accounting network. You don't want your accounting network to be seen by the data employees or whatever the reason you're creating a VLAN. You want to separate 100 from 200. We'll also be allowing 100 to go to the internet, um, and uh, we won't let 200 go to the internet um, for security um, uh, purposes. We'll also IP the uh, uh, the Juniper switch as well, uh, so that uh, it can go out um, maybe to your other networks or your management networks can ping it as well. So we want that uh, to be enabled. Okay, so uh, these are your your two computers, and um, uh, and this is your uh, um, your switch. So let's just jump right into the switch. Okay, so first off, um, let's create our VLAN 100 and uh, 200 um, uh, VLANs. So you want to do that by going set VLANs. VLAN dash 100 and we'll give it a VLAN ID of 100 and uh, we'll make this a uh, layer 3 interface at the same time so that we can uh, ping our switch so layer 3 interface VLAN dot 100 okay so also set VLAN 200. We'll give it an ID of 200 and we won't make this a layer 3 interface. Okay, now we want to um, set an IP on our VLAN 100, so let's do that. So set interface VLAN unit 100. family inet address and in our scenario uh, we set it to 10.20 slash 24 so it's a slash 24 subnet mask and we'll enter that okay so now uh, we'll back to our drawing here we want to enable uh, let's say port 1 and 2 to VLAN 100 or in this case 0 and 1. So if you do show interfaces, uh, right now it's straight out of the box, nothing on uh, 0 and 1. So let's uh, let's set interface GE00.0 .0, family Ethernet switching VLAN mem oops VLAN members VLAN 100. Okay, so we want to do that to uh, port 2 as well. Set interface GE. Oops. We'll make this 100 as well. Oops, did I screw up here? Yes, I did. Sorry about that. We want 0 and 1. Okay, then 2 and 3 will be uh, VLAN 200. Oops. What happened there? Sorry about that.
anyway, so this one is going to be 200. So the easy thing to do if you want to just keep doing lots of these is just hit the up arrow key. And we're just going to make three. Enter. Now we do show interfaces. So there we go. So we get zero under um, VLAN 100, one under VLAN 100, two under uh, 200, and three under 200. So we want to do a commit check. Everything passed. We will commit that. Okay, once it commits, let's see if we can ping our switch. Okay, we can do a run ping 10.10.10.20 and see what happens. There we go. We are pinging our switch. Uh, you could also ping it in uh, this uh, directory as well, so you don't have to do your run anymore. You just go, oops. And there we go. And uh, let's just see what that config looks like now. Actually, let's just go show interfaces. So, 0 and 1, 2 and 3, and then let's see what our VLANs are doing down here. Okay, there is our VLAN uh, unit 100 that we put an IP. And here are the two VLANs that we created with um, VLAN 100 as uh, the one with the layer 3 interface so our router can ping it um, and we can get at the switch to uh, manage it as well. Okay, that was uh, just a quick config uh, for a VLAN uh, configuration. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see something more, please uh, comment down below. I'll, I'll show you uh, uh, whatever you need to see. If you want to see something specific, a little bit more advanced, that's not a problem. Um, I'm just going to be spitting these out for the next few days, so if, if I miss something, uh, go ahead, add it uh, as a comment, and I will um, uh, I'll try my, to do my best to uh, r uh, replicate whatever you need. Um, so comment below, and also follow me on Twitter, um, and uh, we'll see you next time.